Hey everybody, I'm back with another video today. I'm going to be doing a dev, dev log, kind of show what I've been working on in Blender. So right now, um, what I've been working on for the past uh, couple weeks, uh, made some progress this weekend, is working on a filleting add-on. So kind of the idea is to get these big fillets on Boolean objects. So right now, if you take a look at this Boolean object and we just try to bevel this, uh, I'm sure a lot of you already know the problem, but it really doesn't matter how we do it, it's not going to look very good. That's kind of the result we get, pretty terrible. Um, this is kind of an aspect where CAD beats out Blender, but um, there are some people who have made add-ons um, for various programs, various poly modeling programs to kind of get this functionality where you can get nice big bevels so uh, I'll kind of show you the progress I've made so first let's just take a look at do a one-to-one -one comparison here of what I've got so far to this set the profile up um, so right now basically all I've got generating is this so if we go uh, undo this and then type in my command you can see that this pretty nicely is going to expand along uh, the mesh. So the next step is to delete that. Um, this is this is all the script does so far is just generate these uh, these cleaner edges which will make the actual filleting process uh, much much easier. We can clamp. So we can see uh, basically all we need to do is remove some extra things um, but it's coming along so we'll separate this out cut it out of the original mesh join it together um, figure out a way to join these holes up nicely and then we should have um, a nice big filleted mesh like this which would normally be pretty challenging to do in vanilla blender so uh, that's kind of what I've been working on. I've got some other tools to show off as well. So I'll start off with a spline interpolation tool. This is going to be useful, particularly in cases where uh, things don't like line up very nicely. So here, if we take a look at this, uh, we can see that this isn't going to be very good if we do something like this. You can see that's kind of a similar shape, not not perfect, but if we bevel that, um, just make sure these are why is that not? Oh. Recalculate the normals first. If we bevel this, we can see even though it's nice in this direction, uh, perhaps we'll clamp it. When we shade it smooth, it, we've got this, these nasty shading artifacts because these are so close together. So what I've been working on is an interpolation function. So basically, given these verts, um, we can create a spline that interpolates through them and upsample or downsample. So, and it's evenly spaced, no matter the spacing of these uh, input verts. So here's a kind of a down sampling scenario. Um, this will show it a little bit more clearly. If I interpolate through this and crank up the samples, you can see what's going on is it's not creating a spline uh, using these as control points necessarily, but it's creating a spline whose control points result in the spline going through these verts. So it's interpolating through. So that's uh, this function right now. Um, in the works, though, is to get a spline from verts. So that's what we got going on here. You can imagine these red dots as vertices, then this orange and these other ones as splines that are generated from the verts. And you can see the difference here is they're not going through the verts. They're using the verts as control points. So it's just a, a different option that might be useful, um, but I'm going to work to get that integrated as well. So going back here, um, 
what's going to be useful is, or how it's going to be useful is, let's, let's take some of these, right? Just take a loop around. And before we generate the fillet, we can interpolate it. And maybe like 60 points, something, or maybe we'll do 32, just so it's nice and easy. And then if I grab that and kind of move it, you can see how evenly spaced and nice these are. So. Duplicate this and and we uh, kind of show off this when we smooth shade it. Those shading artifacts won't be there. So the interpolation function is going to be used to get rid of those. And then one final thing to show off before the end of this first devlog is a boolean cleanup feature um, this was kind of inspired by mesh machine so if we do boolean topology fix it will within a certain merge distance merge any of these so you can see there's two sides, right? There's the, the verts that are generated from this sphere, which would be ones like this, that, that, and the ones generated from the left sphere, which would be um, this one, this one, or this one. So we can choose which side we want to merge to, and then it's going to merge all those verts to a nearest neighbor on the other side. So uh, yeah, that's just a, another useful thing. Uh, kind of makes it a little bit handier. Um, although I don't even know if that's totally necessary now that this um, interpolation function is working pretty nicely. Um, but perhaps they'll both be useful. Um, so yeah, that that's really it for devlog one. I'm going to keep working on this. Kind of the, the plan is to get this... Um, spline from points working and then from there get the the fillets working and then once once that's all done I'm going to put a modal wrapper around it and uh, try to make the the interface nice um, but uh, yeah that's devlog one uh, keep out keep an eye out for the next ones uh, like dislike rate subscribe and uh, check out my website hardsurface.net